All righty, you guys, it looks like we are live. Welcome to this video. Today, I want to show you exactly step by step how to start an affiliate blog that makes $1,000 per day. This is a video I haven't created in this channel up to this point. I've got over 500 videos on this channel, and I got started by creating small little affiliate websites online. And at one point, I had about 80 domains and 80 different websites making me passive income on a consistent basis. Now, the reason why I stopped was because I was kind of gaming Google's system. I was over optimizing my websites. And what happened is I pretty much lost all my rankings. So learning that lesson, I know exactly what not to do. And I also know exactly what to do today. You know, uh, affiliate websites and creating affiliate websites and opti optimizing them to rank in the search engines hasn't changed too much over time. So I'm super excited to gift you this way of building a profitable online business, promoting other people's products. For those of you guys that don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's very, very simple. You go out there, you promote somebody else's product that's already proven in the marketplace. It works. It's of value. The product owner has created all of the marketing assets for you. They've created maybe some articles, some banners. They take care of all the product fulfillment. They take care of all the selling and telling. All you got to do is leverage the affiliate website I'm going to show you how to create to drive traffic, to drive eyeballs, to drive website visitors to the actual product. So the whole purpose of a blog is to not only, number one, build a brand. Yes, you can use it to build a brand, but it's used to drive traffic to any affiliate offer that you want to send the traffic to. Okay. And the great thing about Google traffic, you guys, uh, and not only can you rank in Google, you can rank in Bing, you can rank in other search engines out there. But the great thing about search engine traffic is the fact that it is the most targeted next to video traffic. Why is it the most targeted traffic or the highest quality traffic? Because people are typing in exactly what it is that they want. And then all you need is a article or a video that simply gives them exactly, exactly what it is that they want. And so that's why your conversion rates through blogs are so high and through the search engines, again, whether that be a video search engine like YouTube or it be a search engine like Google, okay? So what we're gonna do today, this is gonna be live, raw, and uncut. I really haven't even pre-prepared for this live because I want it to be so raw. I want you guys to see the type of research that I do when it comes to setting up an affiliate blog. So we're gonna kind of do this together. You can follow along with me. You'll be able to watch the recording of this. If you're on the live right now, please let me know in the comments below where you're calling in from. And we'll go ahead and get started in just a second. If you're brand new to the channel as well, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button that's probably below this video. And then also next to the red subscribe button, there's going to be a bell icon. Go ahead and tick that bell icon to be notified of all future lives and videos that I upload when I upload them. Okay. So without further ado, give me a like if you're excited for the content and we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right into here. So I assume that you guys can hear me and that you can see me. Okay. So it looks like all the audio is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight into sharing my screen so you guys can see this whole entire process. So Step number one, okay, we want to do our market research. And what that means is we want to find already proven blogs that are making money in a specific niche, okay? So a niche is typically a smaller group of people within a market. 
So the three main markets, I've talked about this before, is the health, wealth, and relationships markets, okay? So the three main markets, health, wealth, and relationships. So there's different topics, different topics within each of these three markets. What I want to challenge you to do, whether it's in the comments below or in the live chat feed uh, to the side, go ahead and give me some topics or some problems, in other words, that people have in one of these three markets, in the health, wealth, and relationships market. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen for just a second. Uh, looks like we got Marie from Canada. Welcome onto the call, Marie. We got Joshua from Colorado. We got Ibok. What's going on? We got somebody from Somalia. We got Gopesh. We got Kinsita from Portugal. We've got someone from India. We've got people from all around the world. We got somebody from the Philippines. What is going on? Wanda from Costa Rica. Sweet. It's good to see all the comments coming through. So if you would in the chat, Give me a problem that somebody is facing in one of those three markets. It could be health, wealth, it could be relationships. I want to hear some problems that people are facing. And as you guys are gathering some ideas, I'm going to give you some of my ideas that I've brainstormed. So for example, in the health market, people have problem with sugar cravings. That's one of the reason, reasons why they're overweight. They have problems with uh, carbs, right? Eating carbohydrates and eating the wrong carbohydrates. So that's, you know, a topic within itself. Uh, we got somebody from White Plains, New York. Uh, why relationships don't last for long. Okay. So how can we word that in another way? If you had an issue with your relationship, what would you type into Google? So for example, let's go ahead and show the screen and let's show you guys this in action. So thanks for that idea, video fun. So it'd be how to, how to improve marriage, right? So as I'm typing this in, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just type in how to improve marriage. But check this out. When I type in how to improve marriage, you can see that YouTube predictive text or YouTube instant search, in other words, is giving us ideas that people are typing into Google actively right now. So this is an indicator that if we set up a blog around a specific topic, and let's say we create a blog post about how to improve marriage intimacy, and then we have a blog post about how to improve marriage communication, how to improve marriage after a baby, how to improve marriage after 20 years, how to improve marriage after infidelity. Listen, you guys, these can be different topics that we can talk about on our blog. And Google is simply giving us exactly the problems that people are having. And what we can also do is we can have somebody else write different blog posts or articles on these different topics. So we don't even have to set up the blog. We don't even have to really write any of the articles ourselves unless we want to do it the free way, which I'm going to sort of show you how to do it both ways, but it's completely 100% up to you. Okay. So we're just going to click on how to improve marriage and I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so you guys can really see this. And what you're going to see is you're going to see some ads here. And then you're going to see your organic listings that start right here. Difference between these ads and these other listings that don't say ad right next to the listing is the fact that these are all here and ranking for free. And this is what we want to do. We want to rank for free in the number one search engine on the internet. So you've got this womensday.com, how to improve your marriage. You've got prevention, seven steps for your marriage. To improve your marriage, you got this listing, so on and so forth. So what I like to do, right, rule number one, which is going to be step two, two, find a blog that we can model.
and model their success. Okay. So we want to find a blog so we can model their success. Okay. So what we want to start doing here is, for example, I can click on this women's day dot com and you're going to see if you look at the top here typically you can tell whether it's an authority site or whether it's a site like a personal website for the most part now authority sites means that they're like super big and there's many writers writing for the website and it's typically something we don't want to model off of or we want to compete with we want to compete and model off of websites that are personally created by one individual. And it's not necessarily a like a big corporate company or like I said, a big authority website that has, and typically again, an authority website, many different writers, it's a bigger website. It's kind of a, got a corporate feel to it. So for example, you know, huffingtonpost.com, cnn.com, those types of sites are what would be called uh, authority sites. So what I would typically do is I would just, I'm going to delete, I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to delete all the text after womansday.com. I'm just going to go to womansday.com and I'm going to see, I'm just going to go through, and you could tell this is an authority site because there's so much different categories there's so much different content on this website as you can see on the side taskbar here and okay it looks like i can't scroll down or anything so this is a post about paul abdul and then you've got more posts at the top so i mean you just you can tell by the feel of it that this is a kind of a corporate feel and you can easily usually look at the website name too, like best life online prevention.com. You got Oprah.com of course, which is an authority site, uh, family life.com red book mag. So what I want to do is I want to drill deeper into how to improve marriage. So how to improve marriage without talking about it. So typically the longer search phrase, the better. So we want to start essentially doing kind of the groundwork of our blog. We want to start finding search phrases within a specific niche. Okay. So the niche is how to improve marriage. Now we want to find search phrases within that specific niche that have less competition and that are longer tell. Longer tell means there's more words in the search phrase. So how to improve marriage without talking about it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's also how to improve your marriage without talking about it. This looks like it has an extra word. So it's right around nine words. So what we want to do is want to drill deeper into how to improve marriage by simply typing it into Google and getting more results right here. So I'm going to click on how to improve your marriage without talking about it. And it looks like this is a book. Okay. And it looks like Oprah features it, Barnes and Noble. Again, these are all authority sites. Now, brookrandolph.com, that might be an, a site that's not an authority site. Which you could tell it's not because <laughs> look at the page. You, you can see just by the banner, the graphics, that this was kind of thrown together by some sort of blogger. Um, and that the text is hard to see. So this is a great indicator, guys. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. This means that we can model off of Brooke's site, make our site better and rank higher than where she's ranking. Okay, so that's that's a good example of a personal website versus an authority website. So I'm gonna keep just scrolling down here. Goodreads, Penguin Random House. And I just kind of like look at the names of the domains. And I have done this quite a bit to know whether they're authority sites or not. So how to improve mar your marriage without talking about it. We know that's a book. So I'm going to go back to how to improve your marriage or how to improve marriage. I believe was the last search phrase, wasn't it? How to improve marriage after baby. I like that. So again, we're just continuing to do our research on these different 
subtopic topics of how to improve marriage. Uh, fatherly.com, New York times.com, parents.com, the bump got man. I'm gonna check this one out here. It's a relationship blog. And you know, I kind of like this one here. This is a small little blog. It looks like it's probably, you know, personally owned. It looks like there's maybe a couple writers. April Eldmeyer is a licensed marriage and family therapist. So I'm going to go to another post to see if she's also the writer of these other posts, which she's not. So Kyle Benson is another writer, which, which is fine. This just looks more like a personal website that we can model off of too as well. So it doesn't look bad. looks good. Um, so yeah, great indicator um, so far that, you know, obviously number one, how to improve marriage is a very profitable niche because you could see that a lot of these um, specific uh, gurus in particular are promoting their products too as well. So I guarantee if we go to therapist, you got all kinds of types of counseling right here on this website that I'm sure that you can get if I go to like couples counseling. There's probably a way where I can fill out a form See, I can schedule a call right here. Probably the same with this website. If we go to couples and we go maybe to the, oh, check it out, private couples retreats. There's retreats right here. And we can click on learn more. And look, it looks like they make money from couples retreats to help improve marriage. So I can go over here and register. So what I'm doing now is I'm sort of just kind of reverse engineering their sales process. So we're going to jump back over here and go to step three, figure out what their sales process is. In other words, like how are they making money? What what are they selling, right? So that's step number three. So once we've kind of laid the groundwork and we filter through a few search phrases, we're kind of looking at the competition, we're figuring out how we can model, uh, you know, one of these websites, for example, got man institute gotman.com what we can essentially do is we can copy their content and no not put it on our blog but we can essentially copy this and we can jump over to a website called fiverr.com and i can type in rewrite article right here at the very top check this out I will rewrite a 500 word article with 100% Copyscape Pass, which is, this is a great, and I think I've bought from this person before, but you could see that there's five stars on average, 324 reviews. This one's great too as well. I will rewrite and tighten up your website, article, blog, or document. Five stars uh, on average, 1,000 reviews. So the higher the stars, the more the reviews, the better. So essentially what I could do is I can click on this listing right here. And, you know, you can read through what this gig's about and then you can purchase for $5. So I'd challenge this specific individual though. And I want to know if their quality of writing is good. If it's, you know, they can speak as if, you know, English is their native language or write, in other words, is what I mean. And so what you can do is you can click on, you should be able to click on their username up here and then click on contact me. And then what I can do is I can say, hey, can you send me example of your writing quality? And then I can click on send 
and then I can wait to get a message back from this person to see their quality. So what I would do is I would do that maybe for like three or four different writers. And then out of that, I would pick one specific writer to begin writing blogs for my website. And then eventually, if you want to, you can hire them full time. If you don't want to do that, what you can do is, for example, if we jump back over to this website here, we can take this whole article right here and we can go over to Google Docs and I can pull up Google Document. And then what I can do is I can paste this article right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. We're going to paste. And then what I can do is I can go through here and I can rewrite in my own words this whole entire article. So essentially, yes, it's work. But if you're somebody that's starting on a shoestring budget where you don't have a lot of money, this is how I got started. And it's a great way to start. So like, for example, this first sentence right here, it's no secret that life dramatically changes after the birth of a baby. And I could put like, it's not a secret. Life change. Life changes after giving birth, something like that, right? If I had more time to think about it. it. It, you know, might be look a little bit different. Might be a little bit better. But the days, I would put the days are gone, where weekend naps and. Let's see, pick up naps and plans are replaced by no sleep and more responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, nearly the first paragraph. And then I would just continue. So I would write it until it's 100% or not 100%, but about 98% unique. And then what you could do is you can go to a website called Copyscape. Escape. Okay. This is copyscape.com right here. And you can, when you upload your article to your blog, we can take the original post right here on this website on gotman.com we can copy it and we can plug it in right here and then go to ensure that our website doesn't pop up if our website pops up then it simply means that there's plagiarism taking place or copyscape recognizes that our article is too much alike uh the original article so you can see only 10 results shown for three tips. Couple stay connected after baby. Click results below. It looks like there might be a few posts right here. Yeah, look like new parents need help finding better ways. New parents need help finding better ways. So it looks like these two blogs, blog posts, are somewhat plagiarizing but it might just be one sentence that I'm seeing here because it looks like it is highlighting it. Okay. But you guys get the idea. You do not want your website to show up here for the original article. Okay. You want it to be completely unique. So what we want to do now, after we've done our market research, we've found proven blogs that are making money in a specific niche. And the way that we can see that they're making money, there's a few ways that blogs make money, okay? One is through the sale of products, right? Like their own products, whether it's a corporate blog or a personal blog, you could see that the Gottman Institute, they sell private couples retreats. They, you can find a couples therapist. They probably get paid a brokerage fee for that. I'm sure they've got digital products too as well. You can see that they've got a store. So they've got physical products as well. I'm sure books, probably board games and stuff like that on improving marriage, improving relationships, so on and so forth. 
So we really want to just acknowledge how they're making money. So this specific website, I just revealed about three or four ways just by going under the resources section that this website is making money. Now, same thing with this website. You could see that Brooke Randolph is a consultant and she's simply making money from her consulting. Uh, a website like this website here, Woman's Day, you could see that they're making money by um, building up an email list. So when I enter my email here, uh, that email address will be logged into their what's called an autoresponder. So then they're able to email me new articles and different offers that relate to their website or that relate to you know, building a better marriage. You could also see that there's Google ads on their website. So they're making money from Google AdSense. So what you're seeing here, guys, is, and you might have heard this before, the average millionaire has about five to seven different sources of income. So you can see this website, you know, uh, along with Brooks website, Gottman store website, they have many different ways that they're monetizing, AKA that they're making money, whether they're building the email address, whether they got banners from Google ads, whether they're selling their own digital products, their own consulting, their own physical products. Um, what we can do is we can go ahead and model what each of these websites are doing or one of these in individual websites are doing when we go ahead and build our website. So we found blogs so we can model their success. We have figured out what the sales process is. Now what we wanna do, step four, is we want to write down search phrases, that, search phrases that are in demand that people are typing in around our niche, okay? AKA problems. So what we can do, I'm gonna jump over here to another screen and I'm gonna go to Google Excel. Okay, you wanna make sure you got a Gmail account so you can do this. We're gonna go over to Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets right here. And we are going to go ahead and make a blank Google Sheet. So when we make a blank Google Sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and name this, um, for example, uh, Improve Marriage, okay? Since that's kind of what we've been doing. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put the keyword, is also the search phrase. And then I'm gonna put related keywords here. So it could be a keyword that's related to the search phrase. So for example, in this case, we'll go ahead and jump back over to Google and I'm gonna type in improve marriage. Improve, I believe it was improve your marriage or improve, I'm gonna do with improve marriage, right? So improve marriage after a baby after infidelity, improved marriage communication. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. I'm gonna write all these ideas down. So as we're typing in improved marriage, we wanna take into account these other search phrases that are typing it that, that are popping up, as I explained before. I wanna go ahead and write those down. So I'm gonna put improve marriage intimacy, improve marriage after baby, improve marriage and let's go back over here communication relationship marriage relationship okay so what we could do now now i've got like you know about five of these now we could dig deeper as i showed you before into each of these so i'm gonna go ahead and copy number two right here marriage intimacy we're gonna go ahead and paste it right here. I just spelled it wrong. So check this out, guys. Look at all these extra key phrases or search phrases that relate to improve marriage intimacy. How to improve emotional intimacy in marriage. 
exercises to improve intimacy in marriage, how to improve intimacy in my marriage. How can I improve intimacy in my, like, check this out. I mean, there's so many different ideas. And so what we can do now that we've got the primary search phrase, which is improve marriage intimacy. We could start to type in some other related keywords to improve marriage intimacy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small little change here. I'm going to type in keyed C word. And what we're going to be able to do is you can see improve marriage intimacy is right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate if I can. I'm going to make a copy of this spreadsheet and we're going to dig deeper into improve marriage intimacy. So I'll do something a little different here. And what we can now do is I'm going to remove seed keyword here. Just put keyword ideas related. And now what I can do is I can take what we have right here, tips to improve marriage intimacy, ways to improve intimacy in marriage, how to improve physical intimacy in marriage. We could take all these different search phrases right here, you guys. And we can go ahead and put them in what's called our keyword bank right here. So tips to improve marriage intimacy, tips to improve marriage intimacy. Okay, we've got ways to improve intimacy in marriage, which this is re very related. These two search phrases are very related. So what we could do is take ways to improve intimacy in marriage, and we could throw it here. Intimacy in marriage. So I would put related to keyword. Keep making some minor changes here. Ways to improve intimacy in marriage is very related, very closely related to this uh, tips to improve. Uh, marriage intimacy. So how to improve physical intimacy in marriage? That's different than these other two. So we're going to jump back over here. How to improve physical in intimacy in marriage? I believe that's what it was. Okay, how to improve intimacy in your marriage? That would go back up here. Improve intimacy in your marriage because once again, it's so closely related to these other two search phrases right here. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you guys. Oh, yeah, this is a little boring as you can see here. Um, but once you set this foundation, it's going to be very easy, very streamlined when you set up your blog to know exactly what your writers need to write, to know exactly what you need to write, to know exactly what the topics are, so on and so forth. So how to improve emotional intimacy in marriage. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Improve emotional intimacy in marriage, okay? Exercises to improve intimacy in marriage, okay. Um, this might be up here too as well. Exercises to improve intimacy. The very, you know, exercises is synonymous to tips. Exercises to improve intimacy in marriage. Okay, if we got how can I improve intimacy in my marriage? Okay, that would still go in the first category. 10 ways to improve financial intimacy. That's a good one. 10 ways to financial intimacy in marriage. So you guys see that we started with a few seed keywords right here. Okay. And then once like we dig down as deep as we can, what we can do is we can like highlight this in red or we can not even highlight, but we can change the text or we can fill the color or, you know, track however we want to track. So I just, Highlight that showing that we've 
pretty much exhausted that specific search phrase. We've got other keyword ideas, which again, these are gonna represent other specific articles, right? Article ideas that we can write. So after we do this, right? After we complete the groundwork here, what we can do now is we can go to step five, which is step five, set up our block, okay? So setting up our blog, what we can do is we can go to websites like godaddy.com, set up a blog. Uh, we can um, pretty much have everything done through GoDaddy. You can also, I believe, go through namecheap.com. Me personally, I like to use GoDaddy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to godaddy.com. <clears throat> and you can see that I'm already logged in here. Now what we need to do though, is we need to figure out a domain, okay? We need to figure out a domain. So figure out domain and set up our blog. So since in this case, our domain is about improving one's marriage, <clears throat> excuse me, and since this domain is about proving one's marriage, we can just brainstorm some ideas. And it could be even your own name. Like I could use joshuaelder.com. Of course, that's already taken. But if you know until the end of time that you're going to be doing marriage counseling and teaching people about marriage, you could just simply use your own name. If you're not going to, you know, talk about marriage counseling or whatever niche that you're in for the rest of your life, then you probably want to make the domain name more niche specific. Okay. So like in this case, um, let's say that it's the, for example, the marriage expert. Now, this is probably already taken. I'm just going to guess that this is taken 100%. Yeah, the marriage expert is taken, but then it's going to give me some other ideas. We got to kind of keep brainstorming. Um, and again, the way that we could do that, I'm just going to go, let's see, we got brookrandolph.com. We've got Gottman's Institute, a research-based approach to relationships, Woman's Day, maybe like men... Let's see, maybe Venus, <laughs> Venus and Mars, right? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Venusandmars.com. It's kind of a cool, cool name. Venusinmars.com. Maybe Venus versus Mars. Mars versus Venus. It's taken. Um, let's see, you guys have any other ideas, let me know in the chat or if you're watching the replay, let's see, but this is probably, you know, the hardest part of the whole process, mars-venus.com. I kind of like this one here, mars-venus.com. So what we can do is we can click on add to cart. Okay. We've added it to the cart. We can now continue to cart. And you could even have somebody else pretty much set up this whole process. Like, you, again, you can go to fiverr.com over here and type in set up blog. And you could literally pay somebody to set up a blog, you know, which is really cool. You just have to kind of search through here. So, guys, Fiverr's your best friend, Google's your best friend, right? So, full domain of protection. I'm just going to go, no thanks. No thanks on the email. Start your website for free. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Um, we're going to go to continue to cart. <clears throat> Excuse me once again. Um, we'll do one year, which is going to be $11.99. And we're going to go ahead and check out. Let's see, I'm going to get a virtual number for the site. I'm just going to click on check out. I just don't want to share my personal information, you guys. So I'm just going to get out of here for just a second. You guys getting value from this? Emily just jumped on the live. Fitness Beast, what's going on? 
Yeah, sugar intake is a problem. Okay, yeah, so like diabetes, reversing uh, the diabetes process. That's another huge niche, you guys, another huge niche. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my virtual number here for my one of my credit cards. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and I'm gonna see uh, if we can go ahead and place this order. I just don't wanna go through sharing the screen to give away too much information. Um, and you can see if I go ahead, let me, I can share the screen again. Let's see. It should let me share. Here we go. Share. Now I should be able to go ahead and check out and it's going to be 1217. So all I did is I just bought the domain. That's all we want to buy. Okay. So I'm going to complete the purchase right here. And I've already got the kind of the theme of my website, right? Like, again, you hear the talk about men are from Mars, women are from Venus, that whole thing. Uh, I kind of like mars-venus.com. So it's kind of like you go to the website, it's just kind of, you know, maybe it has the, the planet Mars and then it's got a man on the side and it's got the planet Venus and it's got a woman on the side and it's all about, right, marriage counseling. So just kind of ideas that are popping in my head. So now what I can do, this says check other ways to use your domain, create a more advanced website with WordPress. That's what we want to do. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and do <clears throat> the basic plan here. And then we're just going to do a one month term. I just like to pay month to month. As I take this more seriously, then what I can do is I can you know, obviously upgrade to like the yearly plan or whatever, but we're just going to do the bare minimum here. I'm going to go ahead and click on buy and we're going to go ahead and complete the purchase and boom. Now what we can do is you can set up my WordPress website. Okay. So the site can't be reached. Of course, technical issues. Got to love those. Let's see if it lets me go back. So we're dealing with some tech issues, which is completely normal. This is part of the process, you guys. I just went back to the homepage, godaddy.com. And I'm going to go to, let's see, manage website builder, manage domains, my products. I'm going to go over to my products right here. And we've got a list of domains that I've purchased right here. I'm going to click on manage WordPress. And this is the new one basic managed WordPress website, as you can see. I'm gonna click on setup right here. And it says, let's build your website together. Now I think, okay, cool. We'll go ahead and click on view templates. This process is a little bit different, I'm noticing. So now we can just pick the template of our website. We don't need to get too attached to our template too much because we'll, pro we'll, we'll probably change this over time anyways. But we're going to go with maybe professional services. And then we can actually preview each of these. So I'm Mark Cannon. I kind of like this one. So let's go ahead and use this template. You got different you know, design styles, welcoming. Then you've got traditional. We'll go ahead and do the traditional and then use this template. And then check all that apply and we'll set up your website accordingly. We're going to provide information. We're going to write posts and sell physical and digital goods. I'm building a website for myself and then it's going to ask for a username. So again, I'm going to go ahead and type a username here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's see Venus dash Mars the username. Okay. It looks like that won't work. We just Venus Mars. Okay. And then continue. And now it's setting up your site to run fast. So now it's setting up the website, our locations in North America, we're going to go ahead and click on continue. 
Okay, so it's just a temp. We're giving your website a temporary domain to get set up faster. Visit your hosting dashboard later to add your domain. We've got your back. Okay, you could download, restore, change your backup settings in your hosting dashboard. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Okay, when you guys go ahead and set this up, you can feel free to read through this. But you can see it's creating the site. This can take a few minutes while you're waiting. Check out some tips and tricks below. So we'll go ahead and stop sharing the screen. I'm going to wait until that is done. And I'm going to jump into the chat and ask you guys, is this making sense for you guys so far? Are you guys enjoying this? Uh, we've got lots of people here. We've got over 36 people here in the room right now. Were you guys able to see the screen okay? I got somebody that said uh, your screen is not particularly clear. Uh, Nipu says money never sleeps. That's right. Guys, is this opening your mind up? The, the many ways that you can monetize and make money from a website. So you have to think of your website is not just like promoting one specific product. It's not about thinking one dimensional. It's about looking at it as an umbrella, as a brand and seeing multiple products that you can make money from. Okay. Multiple affiliate products and then mix those products with your you know, uh, those affiliate products with your own products. Okay. So some of the best websites promote their own products as well as promoting affiliate products. And they also have some Google AdSense as well. Okay. Yes. We were able to view your screen. Okay. Awesome. 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 You guys. So let's go back and see if this is done. It looks like it's still loading up a little bit. So yeah, guys, I mean, this is was pretty much an impromptu. Somebody jumped out and said how to improve relationships. We took that, we ran with it. And now what we're doing right now is we're building a full-fledged affiliate website. For now, it will turn into a website where we promote maybe our own stuff. I guess we'll see how it goes, but I don't know everything there is to know about marriage. So because I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and in the meantime, I'm gonna start leveraging other people's products and sort of earn while I learn. I'm going to learn about marriage. I'm going to outsource a lot of the article writing. I'm going to see what products that are being promoted that have an affiliate program. And I'm going to host those products on this particular website. Okay. So I lost the connection for a while. Could you please name the platform again? I'm, I guess you're referring to WordPress. You might be referring to GoDaddy. All you would need to do is watch the replay of this and you should be able to get your questions answered. So, hey, I haven't even started yet. All I know is I can write. What should I do? Any tips for a, for a dreamer? So I just showed you, Lovelyn, I don't know if you're brand new to the live here. I just showed you how to outsource the writing of your articles so you don't have to write them yourself. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump back to GoDaddy hosting. It looks like the website is all done. So the website's all done. Now what we could do is we can visit the site. So I'm going to click on visit website, logging in securely. And you can see this is the look of the website. You can schedule a consultation down here. You can obviously, you got the about media and contact. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go to the dashboard by going up here to Keynote and then clicking on Dashboard. That might be hard to see within this video, but it's just under Keynote right here in the upper right hand, left hand corner right here, okay? And so after we do that, now what we wanna do is we wanna go to Plugins and we want to go to Add New. Okay, and there's a few that I'm already seeing that we want. We definitely want Yoast SEO. This is gonna help our articles rank in Google. So I'm just gonna click on install now. And you can see that's in, that it's installing. And then while that's installing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over here to Google. And again, one thing that I wanna jump back to that I didn't show you before and I'm gonna write this down. I've included this in other videos, but I'm gonna jump back here um, where it says we wanna do our market research and find already proven, proven blogs that are making money in a specific niche. In here, I'm gonna put in, um, let's see, search phrases. 
let's see, I'm going to put type in a search phrase that relates to your niche and make sure there are paid ads in the search results, okay? So if I go over here and I type in improve marriage, right? Improve marriage communication, for example, we want to make sure that there's ads. So look, check this out. There's marriage max. You can see that there's this it says ad right next to it. That's a great indicator. Marriage communication tools. Again, if you go to the bottom, you're getting even more keyword ideas that you could then plug into here, guys and then filter through for more topics to talk about. So you can see that this one, there's an ad right here. Let's be close again, marriage connection style quiz. So you can see that there's there's lots of different ads around mar improving marriage. I'm just gonna type in the seed keyword, which was improved marriage, okay? And I'm gonna scroll down and you can see more ads right here. Kelly, Clement, LCSW. Couples Therapy Exposed. So lots of people are advertising. You can even go to the Facebook ad library right here. Okay, and we can, hold on, I'm gonna just type it into Google, Facebook ad library. And it's gonna be this first organic result here. And we should be able to go down somewhere and I should be able to type in, okay, right here, search keywords. So marriage, improve marriage. I'm just gonna type that in and see if we can find, let's see 244, this person has 4.9 thousand likes. And you're seeing right here, they have no ads that are running for this specific um, brand right here. But what we can do is we can even go to the ads and for example, Kelly Clement, we know she's advertising in Google, which means she might be advertising in Facebook as well. So I'm gonna type in Kelly Clem Clement, I think that was right. Kelly Clement, L-S-L-C-S-W. Nothing there. But what we can essentially do is as we filter through more and more advertisers by just finding where it says ad and, you know, taking the name of their website or their branding or what, you know, whatever it may be. So like this is couples therapy. I'm just going to type in couples therapy. And you could see, I usually try to find the advertisers that have a lot of likes. Couples Therapy Training Academy, okay. No uh, no ads there as well. But again, I would just continue to filter through the ads from Google, take their branding, take their name, plug it into the Facebook ad library. And if they've been advertising for any certain amount of time, you know that uh, there's a lot of money to be made in this industry. But we already know that too, because if you go to Amazon, you can buy books on it. You can already buy products on it. There's therapists out there. So we pretty much already know there's a lot of money to be made here. Okay, so got a little off track, but I wanted to cover that really quickly. So we just uh, downloaded Yoast SEO, SEO. Now we want to activate it, okay? So the next step, right? Step five, figure out a domain and set up a blog will lead us to step six, which is install plugins, which was Yoast SEO. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to download a few other plugins. So must I'm going to type in must have plugins for WordPress. And it's actually telling us here are the most popular plugins, okay, for WordPress. Now we're not going to need all of these quite yet, but we will need these down the road. A few other things that we want to do on the back end of our blog though, is I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to general. 
And the site title is going to be see Mars and Venus or Venus and Mars. I think it was, it was one of the two, wasn't it? Let's see. What was the name of this website again? I'm trying to remember, trying to remember. I think it was Venus dash Mars or Mars, Mars dash Venus. I'm going to go back to do my domains here and kind of see what it was. Mars dash Venus. Put Mars and Venus. How to improve. Let's see. How to improve. What was the seed keyword? It was improve marriage. So you notice that all these different seed keywords ha has improved marriage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and just type in how to improve marriage. And then the tag tagline and a few words explain what this site is about. And again, guys, I'm just doing this on the fly without any like premeditation at all. So how to improve marriage between men and women. Um, let's see. Let's see, without, without, I'm going to put without talking about it because during my research on Google, I believe there was a search phrase that said how to improve marriage between men and women without talking about it. And I thought that was a really cool concept and a refreshing point of view to improve a marriage. So what we want to do is we want to be different than the other sites out there that are traditionally kind of promoting the same way to improve a marriage the same way. So we want to be a little bit different and we might change this over time. But for now, I mean, I'm just going to put how to improve marriage between men and women without talking about it. that's optimized. Everything else looks good right here. Administration email address, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And then we're going to go to reading. I believe it's under reading. Okay. The homepage, post page, this looks good. We want to go under permalinks now. So under permalinks, post name. Okay. I like this. So this is already checked. You want to make sure that post name is checked. And then I think everything else should be good. Users, plugins, appearance. We've already installed the theme. That looks good. Um, as far as any other plugins that we need right now, we're actually good to go. We might want to get Optin Monster at some point when we start building an email list. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a follow-up video to this specific video. Um, so you guys know exactly, like we're going to show you exactly how to, you know, optimize the articles. We're going to show you exactly, you know, how to capture the emails, what to put, you know, in your newsletter headline and all of that good stuff. So essentially our website is now set up. So I'm going to jump back over to here. I'm going to go to dashboard and real quickly. Before we go ahead and end this, I'm going to go ahead and go to posts right here. And we're going to go ahead and edit, or we can even trash this one. Let's go ahead and just trash this one. This is the first post that was pre-made when we installed the website. We're going to go to posts, add new. And you can see, welcome to the block editor. You can make each block your own, get to know the block library. So yeah, guys, I would encourage you to get to know your website, get to know the back end of WordPress. There's tons of tutorials out there online about WordPress and how to get the most out of it. So add title. So in this case, let's say, you know, we were using this uh, website as an example, one of the articles here. So three tips for couples to stay connected after a baby. What we can do is we can take that. I'm actually not going to publish this, but we're going to use this as an example. So we had put that your title right here. 
And then we would throw in your article right here. Okay. So this is pretty, pretty basic, right? We got the article here. We've got the title right here. And I mean, you could pretty much, you know, type anything that you want. You want right here. And then you can have, you know, you can link out, for example, this links out to another Gottman article. This is another strategy to help your blog post rank higher. But if I was to just break this real quick and recreate it, all I got to do is I got to highlight the text right here and then click on the little chain here and then type the URL. So HTTPS and if it was high ticket help com forward slash partner. You guys haven't already gone there. Little uh, shameless plug. Then you want to join our high ticket program. Recently, we helped Dirk and Muriel make over $25,000, actually a $25,000 sale in one day, which was a $12,500 commission, which resulted in over $35,000 in one month. It was all because they went to this website and they joined our coaching program. So Shameless plug for you guys right there. But nonetheless, that's how you make a hyperlink. And then, you know, you could scroll down and, you know, you got the Yoast SEO plugin right here. And then you can go ahead and you can publish right here. So in the next video, what we're going to be doing when we go live next time or put up another video, we're going to show you the next stages of making money with your affiliate blog. So Today, we just showed you how to start an affiliate blog that makes $1,000 per day. But now what we want to do is we want to actually start making money, start making the moolah. Okay. So now that we've set up the website, we've done the groundwork, we now want to start making profit. So before I go ahead and end this video, what I want to do on step number seven is find other products that we can promote in our niche. By going to Google and typing in the product, whatever your product name is, plus affiliate program, whatever your niche is, right? Not product name. We already have a product. So what I would do is I would go back over here to Google and I would type in improve marriage affiliate program. Check it out. 75 front end, 75% front end commissions under save marriage today. So that's cool. So what we could do is we can sign up to this website. You can see that they actually go through ClickBank. Um, they go through clickbank.com. Clickbank.com is a affiliate marketplace that houses many different affiliate products. So let me just show you what it looks like. I've done many videos on it. Let me go ahead and log in here real quickly. If you guys want to sign up, let me go back here. You can just sign up right here. 100% free to sign up. Once you sign up, you can log in. And then what I would do is I would just simply go to marketplace up here. Give it a second to load. Okay. And then we're going to go to, let's see, parenting and families. Maybe it's under here. And then it's under marriage. We can click on marriage. And you can see, I'm going to sort by gravity right here. Gravity means simply that it just sells really well. These are all pretty low gravity. So I'm just going to filter. I'm going to go just click on parenting as a whole and families. Oh, here we go. Save my marriage today. Here's a great one. Average sell amount you're going to make is $64.63. All you would need to do is click on the promote button, enter your account nickname right here, generate hop links. And then what we would do is we would share this link in one of our blog posts. Okay, so you can copy it and share it over on the actual blog, right? So over here, we can include it, you know, in one of our posts right here. We're going to do that pretty strategically, though. We're not going to Obviously, we're not publishing this, but we can, um, you know, include it in a blog post. But we want to include it in the right blog post. 
but this is just an example right here. So I could like highlight this right here. And then I can go to the chain link here and boom, the URL is there and then just click submit. And you can see that lights up in blue there. So you have a lot of different products right here within ClickBank that we can promote. Okay, it looks like since this is under parenting and families, it looks like the best product right here around marriage is this Save My Marriage Today product. We can even click on the link right here and it's gonna lead us straight to, check it out. This is the same product, awesome. So we were able to find it through ClickBank. We probably could have filled out this information here and it would have sent us all the details through email as well. But that's an example of one affiliate program. Um, Affiliates.Save Marriage Central, here's another one. And it looks like this is another ClickBank product. So we can go over to ClickBank once again. I want to type it into here and see if it comes up. And you can see it's got zero gravity, zero cells. And it, it could be one of two reasons. The product just is terrible. Um, it might not even be active or there's just nobody promoting it. So I can just click on here and see if it's even active. And it looks like it is. I mean, there's a sales page and everything, but it's a little weird that it's not showing us the average commission amount here. It's 197 bucks. I mean, you can go ahead and promote this, something that you can test and you can very easily test different products um, on your website using what's called a rotator link. Again, we'll get into that in future videos. Here's one save save the marriage.com affiliate page banners so again this is another one another website which is a little different i'm just going to put save the marriage right here and see if we can find it let's see the stats on it so here we go boom this is a great product right here i'm loving this gravity's 28 which is perfect Average sell is $83.29. Love that too as well. If we go ahead and click on this, we can check out, here's the sales page. I'm loving this. This is a great quality website, great sales video, great setup right here. You can go ahead and watch the sales video if we want to. And um, yeah, you have the affiliate page right here where you can check out all the assets once again, as I explained at the beginning of this video, that the product provider provides to help you promote the product. So you guys kind of get the idea there um, on how to find different affiliate products within your niche. Okay, so I hope you guys got value up to this point. That's how you start a blog that simply makes a thousand bucks a day. That's how it is done, guys. And the next phase is just simply putting up the articles on the website, optimizing the articles in the right way so the search engines see them and doing it consistently. If you wanna build a website that gets a lot of traffic, it's not just putting a couple of articles up. You wanna put dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of articles up and you can completely outsource this whole entire process. So next live, we're gonna start publishing some articles. We're gonna start, um, obviously having some articles written for us. And we're going to dive deeper into this so you guys can see what it takes to build a successful affiliate marketing website from complete scratch. So thank you so much, guys, for jumping on this live. If you got value from this, pure raw value, no pitch at the end of this whatsoever, please give me a subscribe. Please like this video. And please comment if you have any questions that it relates to, you know, anything that we covered today. And also don't forget to tick the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of all future lives that I do. I know we've got people from our HDA partner program on this live. We've also got people from YouTube that have jumped on here today. I appreciate you guys for jumping on. I encourage you to go out there. You can apply this. If you're in the HDA partner program, you could use this to promote our program to make up to $15,000 commissions boom, with just one simple blog post. So if you want to know more about that, all you got to do is go to hightickethelp.com 
forward slash partner. Once again, that is hightickethelp.com forward slash partner. And you can learn a little bit more about our HTA partner program. So with that said, I'm going to jump into the comments one more time. Great information. I've subscribed for years. Awesome, John. Uh, we've got Swaroop. What's going on, Akash? Uh, I'll do my best after the live to go through these and answer your any of your questions. So thank you so much, guys, for jumping on this today. I hope it was immense value. The biggest problem that you guys are going to have is the tech stuff. If you guys run into any technical difficulties, continue to keep going. We ran into a few today on this live. I wanted to illustrate the type of things that you guys will run into. It's completely normal. This is part of building a business. But if you want it bad enough, you're going to push through and you're going to figure it out. At the end of the day, Google's your best friend. If you can't figure something out, use Google. You could also hire somebody on Fiverr uh, to help you as well. So again, thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next live. Take care.